I don't think there is such a thing as a good war. There are sometimes necessary wars. And I think one might say just wars. And that it never, I never questioned the necessity of that war, and I still do not question it. It was something that had to be done. The greatest cataclysm in history grew out of ancient and ordinary human emotions. Anger and arrogance and bigotry, victimhood and the lust for power, and it ended because other human qualities, courage and perseverance and selflessness, faith, leadership, and the hunger for freedom combined with unimaginable brutality to change the course of human events. The Second World War brought out the best and the worst in a generation and blurred the two so that they became, at times, almost indistinguishable. In the killing that engulfed the world from 1939 to 1945, between 50 and 60 million people died. So many, and in so many different places, that the real number will never be known. More than 85 million men and women served in uniform. But the overwhelming majority of those who perished were civilians. Men, women, and children obliterated by the arithmetic of war. The United States of America was relatively fortunate More than 405,000 soldiers and sailors, airmen and marines, died. But that figure represented proportionately fewer military casualties than were suffered by any of the other major combatants. American cities were not destroyed. American civilians were never really at risk. But without American power, without the sacrifice of American lives, the struggle's outcome would have been very different. The American economy only grew stronger as the fighting went on. And by the time it ended, the United States would be the most powerful nation on earth. And a once isolated and insular people would find themselves at the center of world affairs. The war touched every family, on every street, in every town in America. Towns like Laverne, Minnesota, Sacramento, California, Waterbury, Connecticut, and Mobile, Alabama and nothing would ever be the same again. I'm not sure I can speak about why human beings in general go to war. I think that's a pretty large category. I can only speak about why 18-year-olds from Minneapolis go to war. They go to war because it's impossible not to because uh, a current is established in the society so swift, flowing toward war, that every young man who steps into it is carried downstream. <laughs> 